That's right. Today, we're going to give you a little sneak peek at our brand new Thunderbolt 5 external drive. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrin we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So yes, this is a little sneak peek at our brand new Thunderbolt 5 external drive. And from our testing, this thing is really, really impressive. In my hand right now, I have one of our final prototypes and we've still got a lot of tweaking to do, but our initial numbers are incredible. Now, we are going to have a separate video entirely dedicated to the numbers that these things produce in Thunderbolt 5 computers like this Razer one that I've got just here and other laptops such as MacBooks that use Thunderbolt 4 to show you the impressive numbers that that gets as well in terms of backwards compatibility. With Thunderbolt 5 technology, it comes with a whole host of new technologies. And again, we will have a separate video explaining all the features that Thunderbolt 5 has because there is a lot. However, with this drive being able to use Thunderbolt 5, that means that we can get some of the fastest speeds ever seen on an external drive. For example, when testing this hub in a Thunderbolt 5 compatible computer, like this Razer one over here, we have seen numbers reaching over 6,000 megabytes per second on the read and over 5 5,000 megabytes per second on the right. This means that you are getting near enough internal SSD speeds from an external drive. A few years ago, these numbers would have been unheard of. And as you can see, the size of this drive is really small and it gets even better because of our efficiency we are seeing even better temperatures so not only are you getting all of that high speed but the temperatures are incredible on this as well now just like i mentioned there is a few little tweaks that we still have to do because we want to try and get the absolute best out of this technology however like i said our initial numbers are incredible and i think that for any user, any power user that is looking for the fastest possible drive, but wants that flexibility of being able to use it from computer to computer, then really this is the best solution out there. With this drive, you truly get a portable solution without any downsides. And don't worry if you need to use it with a computer that doesn't have a Thunderbolt 5 drive, because this is compatible with Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 3, and even USB 3.2, obviously at their respective speeds. For example, when I plug this in to my Mac computer that uses Thunderbolt 4, I was seeing numbers around 3000 megabytes per second on the read and write. This is one of the fastest strikes even for Thunderbolt 4. And you've got that future capability if you haven't quite got a Thunderbolt 5 computer just yet. Now you may be wondering, how is this possible to get all of this data transfer speed from an external drive with just a single cable? Well, this is thanks to Thunderbolt 5 being able to really utilize PCE 4.0 technology. This means up to 64 gigabits per second or 80 gigabits gigabits per second with its total throughput. So yes, that is how we are able to deliver you all of that speed no matter what device it's connected to. As I've mentioned before, we've got all of the backwards compatibility, whether it's on Windows or Mac, and there's even rumors that potentially the next Macs are going to enable Thunderbolt 5 technology, meaning that you can use this drive no matter what system you're on. One thing that I really want to mention about this drive and something that I absolutely love is just how small it is. This is because we wanted to design a portable drive because we know that you absolutely loved our Extreme Q SSD. It's really what a lot of video editors wanted from an external drive is fast speeds, large capabilities, and large capacities. So we wanted to make sure that for you extreme SSD lovers, that you could upgrade knowing that you've got all of those benefits just faster and better. We know that for a lot of you power users, you've had to stay away from external drives and not been able to work off an external drive because your workflow required the fastest speeds possible. So 
even though there are some really fast Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 drives that we sell, it's not been able to reach your workload requirements. But thanks to this new drive, you're able to work off of this SSD, switch computers, and still getting that internal SSD performance that you require. So for you power users out there, this external SSD is gonna be great, especially for those of you who are working with high resolution, high bit rate, high everything workloads. We are so happy that we can finally deliver a product for you power users out there and also give you that flexibility so that no matter what system you're using, that you are really maxing out the capabilities of that particular port. For me personally, I use both Windows and Mac, but it's been fantastic using all of this speed on a Windows laptop, but also being able to see a massive improvement on my Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 enabled devices like my Macs and so on and so forth and being able to not see any slowdown. As I mentioned before, this is a little sneak peek into this new drive and I was just so excited because when the team showed me this and showed me all of their numbers and testing, I was just so impressed. Everything that I've basically ever dreamed of from an external drive this thing has and it's just been incredible so I grabbed it from the office and I'm here to tell you guys about it now like I mentioned before there will be a separate video also explaining Thunderbolt 5 because I know that it is a very new technology and more and more devices are going to be coming out with Thunderbolt 5 but I'm also going to be doing a separate video showing you real world numbers of this pre-release product just to show you what our initial testing gets so that you guys guys know how it works with a real world Thunderbolt 5 product and also show you the backwards compatibility with other systems like Mac that doesn't have a Thunderbolt 5 uh, port. So I really want to be as transparent as possible. And again, these are just initial numbers. So when you see the numbers, hopefully we're gonna be improving on that as well because we still got a little bit more to get out of it. But anyway, that's it for today's video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and enjoyed this sneak peek into our new product that will be launching soon. So if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button so that you can stay updated with the the progress of this new Thunderbolt 5 external drive from Sabrin. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.